Good afternoon, everyone. So I have the day off and my basil plant is going off, so I decided that we're gonna go to the store right now, go grab some stuff to make some basil pesto. So I already have the basil that I grew at home um, from the Basilie Boy, and I'm gonna put some of my purple basil in there too. So this is one of my favorite grocery stores just simply because of how big it is and how extra, like, do you need this many tons of jam? Probably not. All I need is nutritional yeast and then some greens, which is not um, a lot, but that's all I'm missing. So, finally found it. And now I'm just gonna grab some greens and then get out of here. It's honestly really cringy filming in a store, so this will be the last clip. All right, so I made it home. And first off, I'm gonna show you guys my basil. So this is the purple basil that I got, it's growing like crazy. So as you can see the leaves down here are purple and then a little bit green on top. So we're gonna use a little bit of the purple basil. Also, look how beautiful the plants look. Everyone looks so good, we're all some flexing as per usual. And then the bulk of the basil will be from my other basil plant, the basil boy, who is just doing so good. So I'm gonna harvest some of this. Also, look at the girls. Everyone's doing so good. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the grocery store too. I got some, I'm doing this in my living room because the lighting's better. Got some kale, some broccoli, both organic. The hope is one day I'll be able to grow these own things in my own um, garden. But for now, the grocery store will do. I got some almond milk because I ran out. And then nutritional yeast. I've never actually um, used any of this. It says cheesy, savory seasoning without the dairy. The reason I got this is because for you vegans out there, I am making a vegan pesto because I try to avoid dairy as much as possible. I'm not vegan, however. So I'm using this instead of like Parmesan or some cheese. And then also the most exciting thing I got was this package um, when I was walking into my apartment and it's from my dad, so at some point we're gonna open this, but back to the pesto, let's get to harvesting. All right, so depending on how much basil we yield today is how much pesto we'll be making. I'm hoping I'll have enough to, um, wow, these are awesome sprigs. I'm hoping I'll have enough pesto to give away to my neighbors as well. I love to um, share what I make with them always. Okay, so we, we got a pretty good yield from basil boy, I'd say. Let's see what we get from that purple basil. Yep, we're gonna make it so that she just got a little sprout left. But hey, that's pretty good. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat this. Also, my hands smell so good after picking the other basil. All right, so here's everything you need. Um, I wrote it down. So you need basil, um, a seed or nut of your choice, Garlic is optional, I'm choosing to do it. Lemon juice, nutritional yeast, um, or cheese of your choice, salt, and an oil of your choice. So I'm saying it's Haley's pesto recipe because you guys, I'm using a nut I'm sure you've never heard of called Baruca. It's from the Amazon forest and they taste, I don't know, they taste really good, like super mild, but I really like these nuts. I'm gonna try using it in a pesto. Um, I usually just eat them as a snack in my granola, but we're gonna try using that nut. And then I am using olive oil as my oil. Instead of cheese, I'm using nutritional yeast. And I am using garlic, which has already been cut up because I'm lazy. And then I do need to juice these lemons. And then look at this basil yield. So um, pause the video right here if you need to see ingredient list and let's get this party started. First things first, I just measured how much basil I have. I have three cups. So my recipe only calls for two, so actually I'm just going to use that other cup for, I don't know, maybe I'll give it to my neighbors right away. Let's juice some lemon. Okay, so not gonna lie, the juicing of the lemons was probably the hardest part of this recipe. I'm using a little magic bullet to blend this all together. A blender is probably easier, but I don't have one of those. So <laughs> magic bullet it is. Um, next step is you just add everything into your blender bullet thing and we get this party started. Three tablespoons. You can do a nut of your choice. You cannot find these in the grocery store. You probably have to order them online. So three tablespoons, one, two, and three. This should be fun. Now we're gonna add in the garlic and the lemon juice next. 
two cloves or two tablespoons if you already have the minced stuff like me. One, two. It calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice. Man, I bought so many lemons, but that one lemon I just juiced had a lot of juice. One and two. And I'm gonna blend that together. <sighs> Yum. This looks delicious. So if you know me, you know I love salt. I literally have a bag of Hawaiian sea salt. Shout out to Auntie Tara for giving me this. The recipe online said a quarter tablespoon of salt. I'm probably gonna put closer to like half a tablespoon because I love salt. Not advisable if you're trying to avoid sodium, but I'm definitely gonna add a lot more salt than the recipe calls for. Or I'll do a teaspoon. That's about like a third of a tablespoon is one teaspoon approximately. So I'll do that so I don't kill someone. I just added the salt in there and then I'm gonna add in the olive oil. It calls for two and a half um, tablespoons of oil. So let's add that in. One, two and a half. And then the last thing, last but not least, is the nutritional yeast. So it says three tablespoons. One, two, Alright, and then all that's left to add is the pesto, but first I'm going to blend all this together. Add it all in. And so a lot of recipes online say to like cut the stems off and just get the leaves. I actually think all the good stuff is in the stems personally, so up to your own discretion. But I kept it all because I think every part of the plant should be used. Wow, you can really do Okay, I add a little bit of water, hopefully this helps. Okay, the lighting in my kitchen is horrible and I needed this to be like a revealing moment. This is our pesto, I just blended it. Let's see what it looks like. I just poured it into this bowl. Oh my gosh. Okay, honestly, really impressed. Go me. Let's do a little taste test. Bueno. All right, wow, holy shit. Wait, actually you guys, that's so good. I'm not even kidding you, this is the best pesto I've ever had. And I made it, and it's vegan. You're welcome, vegans. I'm actually so impressed. Never made pesto, totally winging this. I mean, look how good that looks. Wow, okay, let's make some food now. I'm gonna make some cauliflower gnocchi with um, kale and broccoli, which is why I bought the kale and broccoli from the store. While that's cooking, I'm going to open up that package, but first off, let's get to cooking because I am hungry. I did forget. I said I was gonna add some vegetables to this. I'm not gonna add a broccoli. I'm only gonna add some kale. So, I don't know, maybe a few stalks of kale. Also, I don't know if you guys have heard, but you're supposed to massage your kale. So I'm gonna add this to a bowl, cut it up, and massage it with some olive oil. Apparently it makes the kale taste better. Um, and then I'll show you how I incorporate it into the cauliflower gnocchi. Okay, so I just massaged the kale. As you can see now, it doesn't look as like tough to eat. Um, so I'm just waiting on that gnocchi to finish up. But in the meantime, let's unpack what my dad sent me. I'm so excited to see what I got. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, my dad is my bestest friend in the entire world. And I have a feeling I already know what this is. Well, let's see, let's see if I'm right. If I can open this. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is! Okay, so my dad made these t-shirts, you guys, and he just sent me them. Oh yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, wait, this one I made for his birthday, and then I sent him one, and I got us matching ones. It's a photo. It says Best Palominos on it. It's a photo of us. Can't wait to rock this. And then this is the one he made. He calls this, um, he like does cartoons and stuff, so he made this little character. His name is Prof Von Shredder. So I'm definitely gonna rock this. And on the back it says killertone.com. Rocket science. <laughs> That's so cute. His uh, his thing on Instagram is killertone.dot.com if you want to follow him. This one and then ooh, there's another one. He also designed this one. It's only what does this mean guys? It's only walk and Roll. <laughs> On the back it says, but I like it. 
Rocket science. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what shirt I'm gonna wear first. Honestly, I think I'm gonna rock, I'm gonna rock this one first, just cause it has me in my dog. <laughs> yep. This is my new favorite shirt, 100%. Look how happy we look, Oh, You know, I didn't used to think we looked too similar, but now, like, I look at us and I'm like, we are so mad similar, it's kind of crazy. Okay, actually, I'm gonna try all of them on for you guys. Our food should be ready soon, hopefully, but in the meantime, might as well try these on. This pink one, it's on the walk and roll. Ooh, I like the color on this. I think this is the one, I'll probably keep wearing this one the rest of the day. This is the one I was most excited to get. I didn't even know I was getting the other two, actually. Von Schroeder, so cute. Um, I think my dad's gonna start selling his merch soon, so you guys should probably buy it before it becomes like the next Supreme and sells out, because I have a feeling it will, because one, my dad's a legend, and two, whenever I make it in the fashion, oh, oh, you hear that? That means our cauliflower Noki's done. All right, it's all done. Woo, that looks so good. So we have our massaged kale. Look how crispy these look. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. So this is the final product. Um, let's do a little taste test. Also, I had some extra lemon juice. So I added some stevia in water. Made some lemonade, pretty good, but to the real deal now. So cauliflower gnocchi with some kale and my homemade pesto. That's a big bite. Mm-hmm. Dude, this is phenomenal. Okay, also ironic, I know I have a plenty of seats in my house. I actually like to sit on the floor. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch now, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of homemade pesto. I encourage you to grow your own vegetables and use them, your own herbs, fruits, whatever. Um, it's so much more gratifying eating what you've grown out of your own home. So yeah. Let me know if you make some pesto and what nuts and seeds you use, if you use olive oils or cheeses or like what variations you use. I'm excited to see. If you're new, subscribe if you want. Um, my name's Haley and this was a video on pesto. Also, shout out to my dad for this shirt. Shout out to Chris for helping me edit this. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.